Hey everyone, welcome to my video. So today I want to talk about RStudio. And uh, RStudio is just a nice IDE to use with R. So the first thing you need to do is just get it downloaded. So uh, you can go to rstudio.com and click on the download RStudio tab and, uh, and just follow the directions. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. And then once you have it, uh, once you have it downloaded, um, you also have to have R downloaded too. Um, you can close out of there and go ahead and load RStudio up. And this is what your uh, what your screen should look like. So uh, this is what our studio looks like. Um, if you don't have this top left hand panel, uh, that's fine. Just go to this uh, this little green plus uh, drop down box and click on our script uh, and it should pop up for you. All right. So um, so this is what our studio looks like. It has these four panels within it. Um, this top left one is called the source. Um, this one to the right is called the uh, environment and history. Down here on the left is called console, and here is um, a series of five tabs called files, plots, packages, help, and viewer. So I'll talk about each one of these and how they can be used, as well as some um, just general tips and tricks within our studio. So the first thing I like to do is get my kind of environment set up how I like to work with it. So if you go to tools, global options, um, one thing you can do is just get your pane layout. So if you click on pane layout and say, for example, I want the console right here. Instead, I want it at the top left. Um, I can go to the top left part, um, click on console, apply, and now you see that the console and the source um, uh, panel switched. So um, you can do that. Uh, I actually like having it, it the way it originally was, so I'm going to switch it back. A um, couple other things, um, you can change your appearance. So right now I have this uh, editor theme, which is tomorrow night bright. I like it, but say I wanted something else like uh, this tomorrow theme. Um, it would look like this, have kind of a white background with this uh, different um, font in it. You can change the font and size and, and whatnot within here. I'm going to keep mine the way it is, but uh, you can play around and look at a couple different ones and decide if you like them. Um, and you would just click apply and, and OK. I'm going to cancel out of there. OK. So once you have your environment set up the way you like it, you can start actually using and uh, using our studio and exploring it. So the first thing I'm going to start with is up here is this source window. So this is uh, useful to uh, save scripts, develop scripts, run the uh, run multi-line commands, um, both from in here and within files, uh, etc. Um, so to give you an idea, let's just say, for example, I want to look at a vector. So I'll say C1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay. Um, if I click run, everything that I have on that line will, uh, will be run. And you can see right here that the C12345 was run. Um, down here, and this is the output. If I click run again, it'll run line two, which is really just nothing. So you see it iterated. So when I click run, it only runs the current line um, that it's on. So say, for example, I um, uh, now I just added, say, six on here. Uh, something else I can do is just highlight all lines that I want to run and click run, and now every line that's highlighted will run as well, not just the one that uh, one, I'm, one I'm currently on. Um, another useful thing I found is that if you want to have multi-line comments, you could just highlight any line that you want to comment, and you press Control, Shift, and C, and now you see that all the lines that I had, I had highlighted um, now have a comment on them. Um, and I can also just undo that or remove comments by highlighting the lines I want to remove the comment, and just press Control, Shift, C again. And, uh, and they're removed. Um, a few other useful little tricks um, that you'll notice is uh, is one, so just say I want to print something out. Um, and when I open up a parenthesis, you see that one automatically, uh, a closing parenthesis also shows up as well. Um, and that is the same thing for a quotation marks. So now I create uh, one quotation mark and the closing one automatically shows up for me. And uh, say I have a lot of parentheses and I don't know which one is kind of referring to which, um, I can just go over and now you see that as, as I'm next to this parenthesis right here, this one's highlighted because they correspond to each other. So, um, so that's a useful little trick as well. Um, you know, some people don't like this. So for example, if I wanted to turn this off, I could go to Tools, uh, Global Options, Code Editing, um, and then... Uh, insert matching uh, parens and quotes. I could just you know, unclick that and do apply um, and that will turn it off for me. I'm not going to do it, but uh, you could do that. 
Uh, another thing you can do is just say, for example, uh, you were developing a long line of code, and I'm, I'm just going to shrink this down to uh, to give you an example. But I um, so say I'm just writing something out like, um, you know, welcome to this video. I hope you enjoy it. Okay. So um, actually, this isn't the way it default. Uh, is on the default, um, but notice how uh, when I'm typing this out, the text starts to wrap around, um, which I kind of like it that way because that way I can see the entire all the text that I have written out and all the lines. But for example, if I go to Tools, Global Options, and then Code Editing, uh, you see the soft wrap R source files. Um, I can unclick that, and this is actually how it, how it comes in the default. So you would, if you want, you could just leave it uh, this way, or if you wanted it to wrap, you can click that. But if I do apply, now notice that um, uh, that I can't, that I can't do that. I have to go, and now I can't see everything all at once within within my source file. So uh, so that could be a useful thing for you as well. Um, something else is uh, let's say now for example I just said this is test one. And this is a test to these two vectors, um, and I run them. So now I have two two vector variables. Um, is tab completion? So if I just write tes and then I press tab, um, everything within my, uh, my environment that, uh, that has, starts with tes shows up. So now, say I want to refer to test two, I could just uh, click on it, um, and a uh, test two is there for me, which is nice. So uh, that's another neat little trick um, that you may may enjoy. So then if I go over here to my environment and history um, uh, pane, um, first thing I notice is that uh, now I created these two variables, uh, these two um, vectors, and now they're both within here. So now I can see kind of um, all the values I have within my current, um, my current environment. Uh, another thing I could do is, is import a data set, so very easily. So if I just click import data set from text file, um, and it brings me to my working directory, and here I just have a test.csv file, so I can uh, click on that, um, and this has a heading, so I do heading, it's separated by commas, um, etc. I can do import, and now it imports that. So, um, and then over here in the source, uh, it also shows me that, um, that file as well. So now I can see I have column one, column two, and these are the values, and these are the rows, which is kind of nice. Um, the command for that in RStudio is actually view and then the name of what you want to view. So here, um, like I said, the file's name is, is test. So uh, when I actually um, loaded it up, um, then it ran automatically this view test. Um, but I can close this down by just clicking on this, uh, this X. And say I want to view it again, I can either type view test or I can actually just come up here, click on it, and now I see um, it pops up again so I can look at it. Um, I can also click on this little uh, kind of play sign and I get to see the columns I have um, and their values and their value types and whatnot. So that's, uh, that's another nice little thing. And then if I go to history, um, this has the entire history um, that I've been doing within this session. Uh, so let's just say I want to rerun this command uh, that I did a couple times ago. I can double click on it and now it pops up in the console and now I can rerun it without having to look at it and, and type it. I can just replicate by double clicking and, and running um, um, and running those um, running those commands that way. Uh, and then within the console, like I said, this is just where you can uh, kind of work interactively and uh, see your outputs. So if I wanted to just say print uh, Hello, uh, print hello. Um, so that's just uh, uh, your console that you can work within. And then on this uh, this lower right hand um, pane, there's these uh, these five tabs: files, plots, packages, help, and viewer. So the first one is files. Um, so it can sh shows you my kind of current directory where I'm at. I'm in a, within my desktop. I have this folder called R Studio, and I'm within this folder. And uh, you know, here's this file test CSV that I loaded in. Why not? So that's um, uh, so that's how that works. A couple useful little things. So say uh, within this folder, I want to create another folder, and I'll just click folder, and like say I want to call it scripts. So scripts. So now this scripts folder was created. And uh, now if I want to go within that scripts folder, I can click on it, and uh, I could say more. I want to set this as working directory, so I can you know set that as a working directory. Now this folder scripts is my 
working directory. Uh, I can go back. Um, I can highlight scripts. I can do a couple things. I can rename it. Um, I can move it. I can copy it, as you see. Um, but I'm just going to delete it for now, so then I can delete it. Um, and there it's deleted. Uh, the other, the uh, next tab is plots. This allows me to view all my plots. So say, for example, I just do plot um, two, three. And um, okay, so now I just created this plot. Um, now I can uh, now I can view it within this uh, within this window and see I create multiple plots. I can navigate to the left and right to view all my plots with these arrows. I can zoom in. I can export it so I can save it as a, an image or a PDF. I can clear them, etc. So I'll just uh, I'll just go ahead and, uh, and clear that out. Uh, the next tab is called Packages. If I click on there, then it shows all the packages that I currently have installed. Um, and I can scroll through them and look. Um, and then let's say, for example, this, uh, say this package right here, GLMNet. Um, say, that, say I want to load that in. I can just uh, click on it and see it automatically runs the command library GLMNet, which uh, now loads uh, GLMNet to my, my, uh, my environment. And, or I can you know, deselect it and now it detaches it so I, uh, I can't use it. So it's a nice way to kind of just uh, see what packages you have installed. You can search up here in the in the search box too. So you can see what you have installed and you can also load them uh, and, and uh, detach them as well. Uh, the next one is help. So say for example there's a, a function or something I don't understand within R. I can say I can write help and say there's a function lm that I don't understand. So I could do help lm um, and then within the help tab uh, all the documentation. So this is LM function. This is just a fitting linear model function. So this pops up, um, and now I can go through and I can read the descriptions, the usage, arguments, um, all the details, and, and most of the time it even gives me some examples at the end. So that's uh, that's nice. Um, and then the next thing is this uh, this viewer tab. I won't go into it now, but uh, um, this is a way where you can maybe uh, view some web content or R charts or, or things like that. Um, I recommend if you're interested in that kind of thing, then you can uh, uh, you can find some more resources and uh, and look into it. Uh, so I hope this gives you a good idea of how to uh, how to install and just uh, initially navigate through R Studio and gives you kind of an idea of of some tips and tricks to uh, to more efficiently kind of go through uh, and play with your data within R. Uh, so if you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to get, uh, get more videos related to data science, uh, please subscribe to my station. Thank you.